I'm Mike Mouse 94 and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Fracas and Scourge. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on, Mouseketeers? Mike Mouse 74 with a Transformers video review. From Transformers Generations, this is Titans Return, Deluxe Class Fracas, and Scourge. As we take a look at the back of the package, up at the very top, you have a brief bio that reads The Decepticons unite with Titan Master Partners to power up for battle. Fracas can steal the power of other bots, letting Scourge harness whatever ability suits his sinister plans. Here you see Scourge in his robot mode his vehicle mode, then here you see Fracas in his uh, Titan Master mode and his robot mode. Here it shows you can fit Fracas inside the cockpit of uh, Scourge in the vehicle mode. Then over here it says it works with um, Titan Master Crash Bash, Deluxe Class Skull Smasher, Voyager Class Galvatron, and Leader Class Autobot Blaster. So that just about does it for the packaging. Without further ado, let's get Titan's Return, Deluxe Class Fracas and Scourge out of here and see what they're all about. Okay, so we're just going to take a quick look at the uh, collector's card. has some nice artwork of Scourge and uh, Fracas attaching onto the body. And then flipping it over to the back, it just gives you the stats for um, Scourge and Fracas. So for Scourge, it gives you his strength, his speed, his courage, and his firepower. Then the same thing for Fracas, it gives you the, uh, his strength, gives you his speed, his courage, and his firepower. So taking a quick look at the Titan Master Fracas, which is the head for Scourge. Has some red molded in details in the eyes, some silver molded in details around the face area. Looks pretty cool. So to transform this little guy, literally all you have to do is fold the legs down, just like that. And here you have Fracas in his cool little robot mode. And all these little headmasters, they stand about an inch and a half tall. So in comparison with this little guy, here we have Titan Master Fracas. And here we have Titan Master Fire Drive. Okay, so here we have Scourge in his vehicle mode. He does come with a weapon, which you can store on the, on, the, on the top of Scourge in vehicle mode. There is a peg right here. And on the top of Scourge, there is a peg hole right there. Grab the weapon and plug it on the top, just like that. And then with the Fracas, and I've tried to plug Fracas on the top of these two pegs on the top. I don't know if anyone else is having the same issue, but it just won't stay on there. I don't know if the holes on the bottom are too big or if these are too small or whatnot, but it just won't work. I've tried many times and it just failed. <laughs> but you can fit Fracas on the inside of the weapon. There's a little peg on the, on the back of the feet. And on the weapon, there's a small peg hole on the inside right there. You can take Fracas and plug them on the inside to make it look like he's controlling the weapon and whatnot, it looks pretty cool. Like you can have him interact with uh, with uh, <laughs> with Scourge, or you can have him on the inside of the cockpit. You can just take the weapon off and take Fracas here and put him on the inside of Scourge's um, vehicle mode, just like so. And put this and put this back on, and there you have it. So in comparison, here we have Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Scourge. And here we have Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Scourge. And another comparison, here we have Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Autobot Hot Rod. So to transform Scourge into his robot mode, the first thing you want to do is kind of loosen the side up like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Loosen this side up like that. It's just pegged in along the side right there and it's pegged in on the side right there so just kind of loosen that up and get that out of the way like that do the same thing on the other side just kind of lift it up out of the way you also want to loosen these up these will become his legs so just loosen that up and it's pegged in along the bottom there so you want to bring this out unclip it bring the leg down like that do the same thing on the other side bring the leg down just like this and then you want to rotate at the hip all the way around like that and then from here, you want to take 
the leg, rotate the leg around like this. You can bring the heel back, bring the foot out right here, clip this into place. Then you got one leg of uh, scourge done. And then do the same thing on the other side. Turn this around, bring the heel out, bring the, the foot out like that. You can clip this into place like that. And then you want to push up all the way until you hear it click into place. Make sure that clicks into place. And you pretty much have the legs done on Scourge. So coming up to the top of Scourge, you just want to unpeg the arms from the side of the body. They're just pegged in on the side here and right there. So you just want to unpeg the arms, bring the arm down like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Unpeg the arm from the side of the body like that. Then bring the arm down like so. Then you want to bring the fist out like so. Then do the same thing on the other side. Just bring the fist out like that. Then you want to take fracas here, put them under the head of skirts by folding the legs up like that, clipping the head onto the body just like so. And here you have Scourge in his robot mode. With the weapon on the back, you can choose to leave it up or you can bring it down like that if you don't want to see it. Just bring it down like so. And there he is. So taking a close look at the uh, details of Scourge in robot mode, he stands approximately about five and a half inches in height. So in comparison, here we have Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Scourge. And here we have Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Scourge. And for another comparison, here we have Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Autobot Hot Rod. So to transform Scourge back to its vehicle mode, the first thing you want to do is detach the head from the body like that. Then you want to fold the hand up like that. Do the same thing on the other side, just fold the hand up like so. Then you want to take the arms and there's a peg on the inside of the arm right there and a hole right there, same on the other side. There's a peg just under the armpit right there and a peg hole right there. And it's a little hard to do. You want to move the arm up, plug that inside the, the hole like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Just move the arm up and plug that on the inside of the hole. It's a little tricky to do. Just like that. And just kind of straighten them out and whatnot. Then with the legs, you want to take the legs and open up this flap right here. And then you want to bring the, the heel or the foot and the heel together and then bring that up like that. Do the same thing on the other side. You can open up this flap here and then bring the, the foot and the heel together like that, lifting the, uh, the whole entire section up like that. Then now you can bring the whole entire waist section down like that, then rotate it around all the way around just like so. And then you can take the this part, rotate it around like this. Make sure that these are up out of the way, just for the time being. And then you want to bring this up like that, collapsing that in. Do the same thing on the other side, rotate this around, bring this all the way up, collapse this together in like so, plug that in, plug that in. And just leave it like that for now, and I'll show you the next step. Then the last few things you'll want to do, you want to bring these flaps down. There's a peg right there, and a peg right there, a notch right there, and a notch right there. You want to bring this down, plugging this into place like that. Just give that a good push, make sure it's in there nice and tight. Do the exact same thing on the other side. There's a notch right there, and a notch right there, a peg right there, and a peg right there. Bring that down, just plug that in that little notch like so, just give everything a good squeeze and whatnot, plug it into place. Then you can take the weapon, plug the weapon on top 
like so. Then you can take Fracas here and plug him in, plug him in on the inside of the weapon, just like so. And here you have Scourge back into his vehicle mode. So I think that is going to wrap things up for another video review. This is Mike Mel 74 and you've just seen from Transformers Titans Return, this is Deluxe Slash Fracas and Scourge. In the comments below, let me know what you think. Is it an easy pass, easy pickup? Let me know. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, support the mouse, support your Transformers community. Stay tuned for lots more reviews to come. Join me and all my friends on my Facebook group called Mike Mouse 74 the Mousetrap. You can follow me on Twitter. I also have a Mike Mouse 74 community. All the links will be posted down in the description down below. I want to thank everybody for watching. May God be with each and every single one of you. Until next time guys, take care and God bless.